was doing a little research and was looking up Lycoming Service Bulletin 388C, which is the valve guide wobble test. Um, reason for the test is to make sure that you don't have a loose guide where you could break a valve and make sure you don't have a tight guide so that um, the valve doesn't stick and bend a push rod or create some other drastic failure. Um, so anyway, I'm reading the service bulletin and toward the back of it there's a procedure they tell you about um, if you've got a tight guide you can drop the valve out into the cylinder, pull the stem out of the spark plug hole, clean it off and ream the guide and get rid of all the debris and uh, you know get rid of the sticking issue. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, did Lycoming design this thing where you can actually put a valve down inside the cylinder while it's on the engine? This this can't be right. So I start reading more and more on the internet, and uh, there was guys doing it with magnets and things, and I ran across this one IA that said he's been maintaining a fleet for forever, does this all the time. So I'm going to show you his procedure. I wish I knew his name. I'd give him credit for it. But after I read it, I thought, you know, this can't be as easy as this guy's making it out. I knew I had an old cylinder, so I mocked it up just like it would be on the airplane. Um, sitting here horizontal, I got a piece of wood down in the uh, inside the cylinder making up, uh, playing the part of the piston. And here's what you do. Um, you get you some tools. Basically, you need two hook tools. Um, magnetic is good. Uh, if one end isn't and you happen to drop it in the cylinder, you're going to have a hard time fishing that out. If it is magnetic, you can you can fish it out. But basically, um, I made one tool uh, out of a piece of welding rod, which seems to work real good. And then you got to have one that's small enough that it you can reach down through the valve guide to pull this uh, piece of string back out. The string is actually a piece of dental floss. Um, I use some guide dental floss just because I know that stuff's real thin um, and it's strong. Uh, you take Put a couple of loops around the stem where the keeper goes, tie a couple square knots on top of each other, do it for both ends of the uh, string, and give yourself about a one foot loop. So you're going to need about a 24 inch piece to start with. Once you got all that secure, what you're going to do is take your favorite hook, I guess, put it down inside the spark plug hole, push the valve in as far as you can with your finger, and you can see it now through the spark plug hole. You're going to reach in there and just support the end of the guy or the end of the valve at the head of the valve, and you're going to push it all the way into the cylinder. Once you get it in there, it's it's now sitting at the bottom of the cylinder. You're going to reach up to the spark plug hole, and you're going to find that uh, you're going to find that string. There it is. You're going to pull that loop of uh, dental floss out. Pull the valve up into the spark plug hole, look down through the top hole, reach in there at the head of the valve, lift the stem, and that easy, the stem's out. One thing I did notice made it easier, if you have both uh, halves, or what do you want to call it, both pieces of string on the same side of the valve, that works good because you can lift it up better, control it a little bit more. Once you get it to here, you got access to the stem, so you can take some, um, whatever it says in the service bulletin, I think it's uh, Scotch-Brite and, and buff off uh, any kind of deposits. Uh, you don't want to do anything that's going to change dimensionally the valve or put any scratches in it. Also, they tell you, you know, look up in the overhaul manual which reamer it takes. And you can ream out the guide and get it back to its normal size. So once you've cleaned it all up, done what the service manual says, then you can uh, put the valve back in the head, or in the, in the stem. So I'm going to push it in as far as I can. I'm going to reach in here and lift up on the valve. Alright, so now it's all the way in there. I'm going to use this top hook to grab the string and reach in through the valve guide. Reach way in there, snag it, pull it out. So now, as you lift the valve with the string, you're going to take your hook and lift the support the tip of the valve. And you just want to get the tip barely started in the guide. 
Okay. Once you get it started, reach in there and line everything up. Lift up on the valve by the head and pull it in. Hope that helps you. Appreciate you watching the video. Have a great day and fly safe.